In this video, we are diving into the top 5 lightweight Linux distros that will supercharge your computing performance and take your experience to the next level. In today's high speed digital world, performance is everything. And if you are tired of lag, delays and a bloated system, this list is your shortcut to a faster, leaner and smarter machine. Whether you are reviving old computer or want to squeeze every drop of power from a modern rig, I've handpicked the best. From ultra stable distros to bleeding edge beasts, from tech pack systems to UI masterpieces. So, whatever your computing preferences are, you'll find the perfect option here. So, let's jump right in and crack this countdown. Starting off, we have Linux Mint XFC edition on number 5. Linux Mint is a big name in the world of Linux, providing one of the finest ways of using a computer. Linux Mint is known for its simplicity, functionality, and polish the holy triad that defines any great piece of software. These things have led to Linux Mint gathering itself a large and loyal community. While Cinnamon Desktop is the most popular edition of Linux Mint, the same premium minty experience is available with XFC Desktop as well. And the XFC edition brings a big performance boost over the Cinnamon edition. In my opinion, Linux Mint XFC is the gold standard for high performance operating systems without compromising comfort or stability. Linux Mint XFC is very efficient with system resources, using just around 800-900 MB of RAM on idle. Even a decade old processor will be able to handle this system easily. The responsiveness that we get here is mind blowing. I use Linux Mint Cinnamon Edition and the difference in how much faster the XFC version runs is impressive. Apps appear even before I finish clicking on the icons. Application switching is smooth, the desktop here is fluidly responsive and it boots up so fast, it's impressive. Now you might have a question here, why Linux Mint XFC and not Xubuntu? Well that's because Xubuntu comes with Ubuntu Snap apps pre-installed like Firefox. This can cause significantly slow startup times for applications and I personally don't think snaps and a lightweight Linux distribution are a good combo. Linux Mint on the other hand strips Snap and even replaces Firefox with a full native .deb version which is substantially faster than the Snap version. Linux Mint also has great software availability thanks to its Ubuntu heritage. You can easily get all the stuff you want here using its built-in software manager which is clean, beginner friendly and fast. I love this. It also supports flat packs out of the box giving you access to thousands of modern applications beyond the official repositories. Another huge advantage of Linux Mint XFC is the familiarity factor. The layout of the desktop itself feels familiar. There is a bottom panel with a menu, taskbar, the system tray, just like what most users are used to from Windows. This makes it super easy to navigate without needing to relearn anything. Install and start using, that's it. As I said, Linux Mint is one of the finest ways of using a computer. It's also very actively developed, has a strong community and it's overall a functional operating system that's very enjoyable to use. Super fast performance is a bonus that you're going to get with the XFC edition. And thanks to its lightweight nature, it can be installed and used on a wide range of hardware. Even old and low power devices run surprisingly well with it. On number 4, we have Zorin OS Lite. Zorin OS is one of the most feature rich and premium operating systems on this planet. And did I mention that it's gorgeous? Zorin is a Ubuntu based distro that provides a super polished computing experience. It's absolutely loaded. The cool thing here is, the same fantastic system is available in a lightweight variant for maximum performance. Enter Zorin Lite. It's hard to accept that this system is running the XFC desktop. Yes sir, this is XFCE. Never thought XFC could look this beautiful, huh? XFC desktop is themed and tweaked here to look like the main Zorin OS. Of course, the animations and effects are absent here to facilitate a snappier user experience. But Zorin Lite is not just the most beautiful distro on this list, it's also the most feature rich. Zorin Lite, apart from its performance benefits, brings some cool things here. This is vastly easy to install, making it an effortless option for Windows refugees who are looking to switch to something more performant. It also has a driver manager that lets you install all the necessary drivers for your hardware easily. Then it comes with Windows app support. This is the trump card here. On Zorin Lite, you can install Windows apps and games directly like you're on Windows. The system handles all the configurations and under the hood setups. You can just install and run Windows apps with no fuss. And with the Zorin appearance tool, you can switch the desktop layout to look like Windows or Mac OS, making the transition even smoother. This makes life simpler for people who are new to Linux. 
Zorin Lite is also fully functional immediately after installation. You get a browser, a few games, an office suit and all the expected utilities pre-installed here. The system is lightweight but the Zorin experience doesn't lack anything. And here's another cool thing, Zorin Connect. It lets you sync your Android phone with your desktop, share files, get mobile notifications or even control music all wirelessly. Zorin Lite, although performs great in terms of speed, it still uses slightly more resources like RAM and CPU cycles than many other distros in this list. But this is definitely one of the most balanced operating systems in all the areas. We are trading off a little bit of lightweightedness for a lot of features. In terms of features, nothing beats Zorin OS Lite. Despite its polish, Zorin Lite runs on as little as 1 GB of RAM which makes it ideal for older laptops that still need a modern experience. And just a quick heads up, Zorin OS Lite is planned to be sunset in mid-2029 but there's still plenty of time to enjoy everything it brings to the table now. All in all, Zorin Lite is a fully loaded experience. Just because it's lightweight doesn't mean there are compromises. Along with high performance, you also get a full-fledged computing experience. Zorin Lite is also my personal recommendation for people looking to speed up their old computers and for Windows refugees. By the way, if you haven't already, check out my course Linux Mastery Express. I've designed this course to level up your Linux skills very quickly. With this course, you'll get so comfortable using the terminal commands that your friends will think you're a Linux wizard. You'll get perfect with the most used, most useful commands and also learn advanced things like using the vEditor and shell scripting as well. Linux Mastery Express, link in the description, do check it out. On number 3, we have the punchiest distro on this list, Endeavor OS. Just because your hardware is old or you need to run a lightweight distro doesn't mean you are stuck in the past with an old software experience. With Endeavor OS, you get cutting edge software, rolling updates and modern Linux tech all wrapped in a snappy lightweight package. Yeah, this distro breathes a turbocharged new life into your old machine. Endeavor OS is an arch based distro. While it gives you all the desktop options, using it with XFC is a superb experience. Here's where it really shines, speed and simplicity. Once installed with the XFC desktop, Endeavor OS flies. It boots in around 20 seconds, uses around 700 to 900 MB of RAM on idle and stays out of your way. It's clean, it's quick and it's ridiculously responsive. This is a bleeding edge distro, make no mistake about it. We'll be getting the latest package updates, latest technology and the latest of everything as soon as they're out. While that's gonna keep the computing experience very exciting, you have to be careful about it as well. You know, keep your time shift backups and stuff. Okay, why Endeavor OS and not Arch Linux? Endeavor OS is for users who want full control and a fast paced computing without having to start from scratch like you'd have to with Vanilla Arch. You get the Calamares graphical installer which makes getting started easy and from there it's your world to shape baby. You also get full access to the Arch user repository or the AUR here. You can literally install any Linux software with AUR here. All things considered. Endeavor OS is a beast, not just in terms of speed but in how much control and power it hands over to you. You want a lightweight Linux distro but you don't want to compromise on the latest technology and latest experience that you can get, Endeavor OS is the right one. It's for the intermediate users, the ones who want to shape their system exactly the way they want. This is Linux full throttle. On number 2 we have Bodhi Linux. Bodhi is a super lightweight distro that has a very different kind of user experience. Bodhi is a minimal Linux distro and it comes with its own Moksha desktop environment. This is unlike anything we have seen till now. Now I feel that I need to say something here. Moksha desktop uses a non-flat design language, so at times it can feel dated and oldish, but that's mainly because we are used to flat designs now. Anything non-flat feels old to us. It can feel off until we get acclimated to it, but rest assured knowing that Moksha desktop is modern and actively developed. And the usage is a little bit different here as well. This is your menu that you use to launch apps. It's exhaustive and fast, but as you can see, most of our applications will be two layers deep. You can open the same menu by clicking anywhere on the desktop and you can also open up your favorites by right clicking on the desktop. This favorites mechanism should be absolutely incorporated in your workflow if you want to get to your applications faster here. The desktop feels minimal in the looks department. Things can feel monotonous at times, but if you slap on a colorful wallpaper, things start to look bright here. Bodhi still tries to hit a sweet spot between looks and performance with a stronger leaning towards performance. Performance is where this distro takes the crown. 
on idle, Bodhi uses just north of 300 MB of RAM. Yeah, you heard that right. And it's not just RAM, even the CPU usage is very low here. So even if your computer is ultra old, the system will not hog the resources. And what can I say about the boot time? It's easily the fastest. Actually, second fastest full distro on this list to boot up. The fastest is yet to come. Bodhi includes lightweight apps like the Terminology Terminal and ePhoto Image Viewer, keeping things snappy while still being functional. App opening, app switching, it's all very responsive here. Even the system feels fluid. Bodhi Linux is based on Ubuntu LTS versions and it provides a wide selection of software for installation here. But the pre-installed application list is minimal. So the principle here is to provide you with a simple and light base and let you build the kind of system that you want. So Bodhi Linux is one of the lighter ones on this list and at the same time, it's fully usable and functional. It's perfect for those who want a fast and super minimal system and they don't really care about bells and whistles. Yeah, I feel that there will be a compromise with Bodhi. Still, top points for this. Alright, alright, alright. Antix, the king of lightweight Linux stores, conquers the top spot on this list. First things first. There are many versions of Antix available for download on their website. You can download the one that you want and if you don't know what all these mean, you should simply download the Antix full 64-bit version under the SysV init section. If you have a 32-bit computer, get that. The full version is what most people want. Antix gives us the ICE window manager by default. There are more options but ICEWM is the default. This is a super light desktop and on idle, Antix uses less than 200 MBs of RAM. I have high fidelity screen recording running, that's why it's higher, but on full idle, it uses around 150-180 MBs. This boots up so fast. I think on my system, it loaded up in around 15 seconds. Yeah, that fast. Antix doesn't use systemd like 95% of other distros today. It ships with sysv init by default or run it if you prefer. That's part of what makes it so efficient. Antix is a lightweight distro when you're talking about the resources. Low RAM, low CPU usage, but when it comes to functionality, this system is absolutely loaded. It's usable immediately after installation. There's Firefox browser, LibreOffice, full set of utilities, email stuff, messengers, and a lot more here. Then, if you want to install more applications, the Antix package installer provided here gives you applications from Debian stable repositories as well as Debian backports, which has newer versions of software. This package installer is very easy to use and has software nicely organized and categorized and it also gives you that flexibility. It's Debian under the hood, so applications and functionality are there. You can install anything you want to use the system for any purpose. Coding, studies, daily usage, it does it all. But when you want speed, this is where Antix delivers. It turns on pretty much anything that can turn on and the system itself is very smooth. Antix is a very unique system. It's a no-nonsense piece of software that breathes a new life into old computers. It gives you a stable, high-performance system and lets you build whatever you want. Thanks to its Debian stable base, this is very dependable and the software availability is great here too. Antix is absolutely phenomenal in what it does. This is perfect for anybody who wants pure speed. If your hardware can still run no matter how old it is, Antix will run on it. This is the pinnacle of lightweight operating systems that have a GUI and are actually usable today. There you have it, my top 5 lightweight Linux distros for hyper performance in 2025. This wasn't just about raw speed, but also about finding that perfect balance of comfort, features and technology that genuinely improves your computing experience. So which of these distros resonated the most with you? Or do you have a personal featherweight champion that didn't make this list? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, I'd love to hear from you. Well, if you found this video useful or if you simply enjoyed it, definitely consider subscribing to the channel and also leave me a big thumbs up. And if you're interested in leveling up your Linux skills, the link to my course Linux Mastery Express is given in the description below. It's designed to teach you Linux and take you from zero to hero within the shortest time possible. You'll be using Linux like a pro within a matter of hours, so definitely check that out. Next up, check out the top 10 hottest Linux apps that you should be using in 2025. It's got some really cool ones, so definitely don't miss that. Alright, this is the next text, signing out. <laughs>